Bubbles are when asset prices continue to rise at a rapid rate, and there is no way of telling if they are overvalued or if they are about to POP pop. They are very hard to identify because of the momentum. However, the housing bubble that popped in 2008 now seems to have been predictable, and yet none of the regulators or bankers were skeptical. Was this due to greed, ignorance, or even stupidity? Why weren't they prepared to face the hard facts about the weak finances of many borrowers and the ridiculously high and higher prices of homes? No economic phenomenon goes up in a straight line. There was a theory in the banking community that mortgages, even from people who are unlikely to pay them back, could be bundled together into a mortgage security, and this bundling would reduce the overall risk to lenders. This theory provided funding to millions of people to buy houses that they otherwise could never have afforded. Congressman Barney Frank stated in 2003, quote, I want to roll the dice on subsidized housing to see how well it can do, end quote. This effectively put the government on the hook and hence the U.S. taxpayers on the hook for all the mortgages that Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac bought from the banking institutions. When homeowners increasingly started defaulting or not paying their home mortgage, it set off a chain of reaction that reached all the way to the banking system because banks do not own all the money that they lend, so their losses were magnified. Then, too, the banking system had to keep these mortgages on their books, thinking they were good investments, which rendered them technically insolvent, which forced the government to step in and bail the banks out. There is no secret potion or magical way for people to take on debt that they cannot afford. As a result, the U.S. taxpayers are now suffering as a result of the bailouts of the banks. The result of the bailout of the banks is high unemployment due to a stagnating economy, limited credit availability, and soon higher taxes for the average American. In conclusion, the housing bubble has caused hardship for many innocent people because the rapid rise in housing prices was based upon issuance of mortgage loans to people who could not afford to pay for them once the prices of houses declined. Economic bubbles often end up being trouble.